If you were going out to dinner on a Friday night in the mid-80s, you likely went for an early bird special. Why? Because you were about to miss one of the best TV lineups of all time, comprised of CBS airings of the Dukes of Hazard, Dallas, and Falcon Crest. It was an odd lineup, what with the unexpected pairing of a Waylon Jennings narrated action slash comedy series and two primetime soaps. But it worked, quickly becoming the nation's most popular weekly lineup. As it turns out, Dukes not only earned legions of fans who can crew the opening tune from memory, beats all you never saw, been in trouble with the law since the day they was born, but created a lifetime bond between its three stars. In fact, John Schneider, Bo, Tom Wopat, Luke, and Catherine Batch, Daisy, recently got together at the Gallatin Comic Con in Gallatin, Tennessee, and it was like no time had passed whatsoever. John and Tom are family, Batch, Exanita, the young and the restless, told Fox News Digital during the event. I love them both so much and always love to catch up with them. It's a lot of laughs when we gather. Of course, when that happens, two topics inevitably arise. The possibility of a Duke's reunion movie or reboot, and long persistent rumors of backstage romances. Let me say this, Batch laughed of the latter. As much as those guys were the most charming, sexiest friends and men on the planet and women all over just adored them, they were really like my brothers. As much as I appreciate them, there's no way I would be, as you say, Hooking up with them, AA is for getting the gang together for another ride in the General Lee. Back teased that anything is possible. Sure, there was the 2005 big screen version of Dukes, but does anyone really count that? Added Wopat, the fans are always jazzed to see us together. I would make the case that the fans have kept the show alive all this time, and it's very much appreciated by the cast.